I know Hunter. Yeah, Hunter you know, got well, thrown. Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. Job. My son, like a lot of people, like a lot of people we know at home, had a drug problem. He's overtaken it. He's 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 fixed it. He's worked on it. It was a night many of us had been waiting for, the first presidential debate between President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. Good afternoon. I'm Kay Quinn. And I'm Art Holliday. At times, the attacks between the two were personal and emotional. Now changes are coming to the next debate. NBC's Susan McGinnis explains. Democrat Joe Biden launching a whistle-stop train tour of Ohio and Pennsylvania after last night's first presidential debate. What I saw last night was all about him. He didn't speak to you or your concerns. Trump tweeting today, nobody wants Biden as a leader. The animus evident a day later following a debate called a low point in American history. Everybody knows he's a liar. But you I just agree. want to make sure. Joe, you're the liar. I, 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 I want to make sure. You graduated last in your class, not first in your class. I want to make Mr. sure. Mr. President, can you let him finish, sir? The president flouting debate rules yes. he agreed to. President Trump did not come to participate in a debate. He came to disrupt the debate. Tens of millions watching ugliness overshadow the issues, including the economy, racism, and coronavirus. Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists? The attention instead focusing on the president's refusal to condemn white supremacists and an extremist group known as the Proud Boys. Proud Boys. Proud Boys. Stand back and stand by. The group today celebrating the president's words. Another low point, the president's refusing to say he'd accept the election's outcome, offering more false claims about mail-in ballots. They're being sold. They're being dumped in rivers. This is a horrible thing for our country. He's trying to, con to scare people into thinking that it's not going to be legitimate. Show up and vote. You will determine the outcome of this election. And for those who will, was anyone swayed? I think I'm still pretty undecided. Hoping to avoid a repeat, the Commission on Presidential Debates announced today it's making changes to upcoming showdowns to ensure a more orderly discussion of the issues. Susan McGinnis, NBC News, Washington. We want to know, do you think there should still be a second debate? Right now, most of you say no, there should not be another one. You can join the conversation by opening on our mobile app.